So look, she's rounding her upper back. So it's gonna shift all the focus. Instead of working the lower back, we're gonna be working on the glutes. Just by doing that little switch to her upper body, just rounding her upper back makes it glute focused. But it's very important that you guys do high reps, you know, like around 15 or 20 reps when you do this. You know what my problem is? Is that I want people to reach their goals more than they want to reach their goals themselves. You know, that's a big problem that I have. You know, like if you know me, it's like I want the best for you. You know, I'm trying to get the best out of you. It doesn't matter if you're a client, a friend. You know, I'm always going to talk about goals. That's something I love to do. You know, I love seeing people succeed. I love seeing people win. So when I come across people that they just don't want to do anything in their life, you know, I just it kind of pisses me off. And that's just like, I would say that's my talk to trade right there. It's just like, I just want people to succeed more than they want to succeed themselves. And I think it just comes down to your belief. It really comes down to if you believe in yourself or not. You know, if you haven't taken action, it's because you don't believe you could actually achieve your goal. But if you fully believe that blossoms desire into action, you know, if you haven't started your fitness journey, you know, it starts with what's going on in here. Fix that and trust me, you're going to be on your way because once you fully believe that you could do it, then you know that it's going to be worth putting in that work. You're going to you're not going to mind putting in the work in the gym to grow your glutes, to lose weight. But if you don't believe in yourself, then obviously you're not going to do anything because you know it's not it's pointless because you know it's pointless to put in the work because you don't actually believe that you could achieve it. I'm doing my best to help you guys out. If you're trying to grow your glutes, I'm gonna give you guys a good routine for that, you know, but it's up to you to actually get this information and execute it. You know, I'm not gonna be there holding your hand. It's up to you. You wanna reach your goals? Then let's go. I'm about to give you guys the keys to growing your glutes. There's gonna be six workouts total. Five of them are gonna be for the glutes. One of them is gonna be for calves, but I'm gonna start you off with this one, which is number one that I tell all my clients to do, single leg hip thrust. So when you do it with the band, you're making it more effective because you're actually putting more pressure on the working glute. Look, it's very important that you guys push off the heels when you do this one. Okay, and that knee, that leg that's not being worked is going up in the air. Trust me, Lily is feeling it. She usually has a poker face, but I know she's feeling it. You know, that workout is really effective, but if you don't have the strength, a lot of people lack the strength to do a single leg hip thrust. What I recommend is like, let's just say you're gonna do the left side, right? You can't do it. What you do is you put this foot down, but just the heel, and you're only putting like 1% of pressure. You're, when you go up like this, all the pressure still comes from this side, but you're just putting this foot down for balance because you know a lot of people just can't balance, they don't have that strength. So just put your foot down, but you're still only using the pressure from this side. And it's still really effective. You're only gonna feel the left glute, and then obviously you have to switch and do both sides. Okay, now we're gonna do hip hyperextension. So look, if you wanna make this glute focused, pay attention to her form. So look, she's rounding her upper back. So it's gonna shift all the focus. Instead of working the lower back, we're gonna be working on the glutes. Just by doing that little switch to her upper body, just rounding her upper back makes it glute focused. But it's very important that you guys do high reps, you know, like around 15 or 20 reps when you do this. There you go. That's really good. Lily, two workouts in. How do you feel? Dead. Dead? What about your glutes? I'm done for the day. You're done for the day? You have the boot. Do you feel like your glutes are pumped yet or not? Nah? Well, we got one more booty workout before we move on to a little bit of legs. Guys, remember, I'm only I'm only really showing you guys the workouts. I'm not really showing you the intensity that she's doing. But it's very important that if you guys want to see progress, you guys have to push yourself during this workouts. You know, like let's just say you're at 10 and you know you could do like six more. Push it. Just because in the beginning you said 10 reps doesn't mean you need to stop at 10 reps. You know, if you could do more, go for it. And then. If you're doing way too many reps, it's time to increase the weight. Think of it like every time you go up in weight, your booty is growing. Just think about it like that and trust me, you're gonna wanna go up in weight. Okay, now we got another, another glute isolation exercise. We got the kickbacks, cable kickbacks. Working on one side at a time, working on the right leg. We're trying to get those booty gains. I speak about this all the time. But at the end position, her leg is in line with her body. Too many people, they try to go up way too high, thinking it's gonna work the glutes a lot more, but that's not the case. You know, at the end of the rep, you wanna be in line with your body. 
So the next exercise I'm gonna have you do, Lily, we're gonna do deficit lunges. And why this one is so good is because since your front foot is at a higher position on a platform, when you go down, it's actually gonna give you a deeper stretch, especially on the glutes. You know, but it's very important that for you to get that stretch, your knee has to almost hit, pretty much hit the ground. You know, if you were stopping right here, then it's almost like you weren't in a deficit. So you wanna make sure you get that deep stretch by getting low, knee almost hits the ground, and you go up. And you're gonna feel the glutes. You should feel the glutes a lot with this one. But it's also for the legs. You know, when you do lunges, squats, you get a lot of legs, so you will feel that more, but you also use your glutes a lot too. Okay, we're gonna do 12 reps on each side. Okay, get low, nice, there you go. See, that's good. There you go, there you go, there you go. If you want it to hit the ground, that's fine, but you gotta make sure you control it because you don't wanna bang your knee against the ground, you know? Like if you control it on the way down and you tap it, that's fine. We just need two more workouts, I know, I know. Feels like a lot, hang in there. Lily's doing it. Now we're gonna do some sumo squats. So with the sumo squat, your feet are gonna be wider than a normal stance. You know, if you do, when you do squats, your feet are in a normal position. With a, with a sumo squat, you wanna get them a little, a little wider. Hey, we going hard. We're going hard. Come on, Lily. Push it, push it. Show them how hard they got to push themselves to see results. Okay, since we're already on the Smith machine, might as well do calf raises here. You know, so this is a good way to end it, you know, with Smith machine exercises. So it's simple. You just place the bar like you're gonna do a squat and you just pick up your heels. Too many people ignore their calves, you know, but you gotta hit the calves. Sometimes you're not blessed with genetics like me, but you still gotta hit them. Lily, you did good. Thank you. How's your booty feeling? Amazing. It's not, gonna, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off? No, it feels plump. Plump. Other than the workouts that I just showed you guys, if you wanna see results on your glutes, you wanna see the growth, other, other than the workouts, something else that's very important is your diet. You know, you have to be either on maintenance or on a slight surplus to see your booty grow. So what I recommend for you to figure out your calories is that you're gonna go to onesoul.com. Once you're on onesoul.com, you're gonna click on the three little dashes on the top left, the little tab, and you're gonna scroll down to macro calculator. There, they're gonna ask you a couple questions. You know, what's your sex? What's your age? What's your height? One of the questions after that is, what is your activity level? Look, if you don't do a bunch of cardio, you're either a light activity or light to no activity. You know, if you lift like three to five days a week, you're still not very active because you're not really burning a lot of calories when you lift. So you're gonna have to put either light activity, but if just say you only lift like two, three times a week, then I recommend you put light to no activity. And that's gonna make a big difference because the more, the more active you are, you're, it's gonna require your body to eat more calories. So it might give you a higher calorie number at the end when you're done with this whole quiz. So it's very important that you guys put light activity or number one, light to no activity. If you do, if you lift and you do a lot of cardio, then obviously you go to more to moderate or heavy activity. So after you answer all those questions on the quiz, at the end it's gonna tell you how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat, and how many calories you're supposed to eat. Those are the calories that you're supposed to eat consistently every day. I'm not talking about just one time or two times out of the week. If you're serious about your goals, you have to do this every day to get the best results. Okay, something else I wanna go over right here, protein. Protein is the hardest thing to consume in your diet. You know, carb is easy, pasta, bread, fruit, all that is carbs and it's really easy to eat. The hard part is the protein, which is like meat, steak, lean chicken, turkey, ground beef, eggs, protein shakes. So what I recommend is every time you eat, no matter if it's a snack, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, always consume some type of protein. So that's why I recommend protein shakes. You know, protein shakes are gonna make it easier for you to reach your protein intake. Can you do it without protein? Yeah, you could eat enough protein, but 
it's gonna make it so much harder. You know, you're gonna have to be more on it. It's possible, but protein shakes are gonna make it so much easier. Like one scoop of one salt protein is 20 grams of protein. So with one, one shake, with one scoop real quick, that's already 20 grams. If you do two a day, that's 40 grams. So this is why I recommend you guys get some protein from one salt. And another supplement that I have here is creatine. Now creatine is not a must, but it's gonna help. That's what supplements are. They help supplement your training. What creatine does is it gives your muscles more energy to do more reps or more weight. And what's the number one key in seeing progress in your glutes? Progressive overload. How do you do progressive overload? Is either when you increase the reps or you increase the weight. And what's gonna help you do that? Creatine. So yes, if you're trying to see some major booty growth, get some creatine. And for these supplements, if you guys want to support me, use code KING. Use code KING at checkout. Since you're already on the website, onesoul.com, you can get all these supplements there. But that about does it. You know, I hope you guys found a lot of value in this video. I'm giving you guys the workouts. I'm giving you guys the nutrition facts. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. And you guys already know, pineapple belongs on pizza. <laughs>